DIY relooming of watch hands. How much does it cost and how easy is it to do? That's the challenge for today. Welcome back. I am Justin from JSG Watches and this is a revisit of my the watch that I had in the previous video, this old Seiko 5. But one thing that I didn't fix in the last video was the damaged hand. So that's what we're going to try and try and address today. So the previous video, we did a full restoration. This thing was pretty beat up and we got it back looking in a, in a better shape. But one thing I couldn't fix was the damaged hands because I just didn't have the loom kit um, with me at the time. So what I've done is I've gone online and I've bought a cheap re-loom kit. This one cost me $15, which is about 12, 12 English pounds. And it comes with a range of different loom colors, some binders, some thinning agent or something, um, an applicator and what looks like a contact lens container for the mixing pot. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll charge these up with a bit of light uh, and let's just see what colors we get. Are any of these colors usable for what we have? What I want to do is try and keep the color of these hands as original as possible. I don't want to make this watch looking any more molested than it needs to be. I want to try and keep it in original looking condition and it looks like we have one on the far right hand side this pale yellow looking color loom looks like a good match um we won't know until we try it out because i've never done this before but let's have a go so we see here now under the light we can see that the dry powder does closely match the loom that we have already on the hands which which is a good start um it means we we're, we're in a close starting point and the first thing we'll need to do is to access the hands we need to take this movement out of the case so this movement if you are interested you can watch the previous video which is where we do the the full strip down the full service of this Seiko 7009 movement and we even cleaned up the case the case was in a really bad condition and got that looking as good as new but in order to get the hands off we do need to take the movement out of the case and leave the hands off So I'm using this plastic sheet just to protect the, the dial. I mean, the dial is not in box fresh condition. Let's try and preserve it as best we can and not damage it any further than it needs to. But as we can see, the loom on this minute hand is cracked and missing, as well as the hands a bit bent. The plan is, initially, let's get this loom off and try and get these hands looking in a better condition. What I want to do is, I've never taken loom off of hands before, so I'm trying to be as gentle as possible. I was initially using a piece of pegwood, but that just seemed to be, it wasn't up to the task. I'm actually now using some, the back end of some tweezers. So I've closed the tweezers and I'm just gently, really gently is the key word, just trying to scrape off the, the loom from the backside. What I don't want to do is go too hard on these hands and gouge the hands to damage them even further or gouge them and bend them beyond repair. Now we've taken the loom off, we can, we can see that damaged hand on that minute hand. Um, so I think, well, one way to try and fix that, I'm just, I'm just gonna try and manipulate it with some, some tweezers. I'm not gonna go too strong on this because I don't wanna crack that hand. These hands are very small, the metal is very thin, and I'm assuming that they would be easily damaged, easily broken. So I'm taking my time, I'm just holding the minute hand down, secure in position, and I'm using the tweezers to gently, gently, gently push them back into a, into a nicer shape. But after about 10 minutes of work or so, now they are looking a lot better, nicer shape than they than they started with at least. And that's the aim. The aim is not to get these looking the aim is not to get these looking like they've come out the factory, but just to get them just to improve them aesthetically. I wasn't happy with how they looked before. That is why we're doing this today. But loom has been removed and that wasn't too painful. Um I think if I was to give any advice, I would just say take your time. Don't uh, don't rush that part because if you damage the hand, you'll be looking for some new hands. And that's not what we want to be doing. We want to, we want to reloom the original hands. We don't want to be replacing it with new stuff. So all good. And we are preparing the hands now for the loom, which I am just going to secure them on some Rodico and put them aside. 
but now we can get into it. This is the part we've all come for, and this is the part that's going to be the challenge. So I've got my kit here. I have the powder, the binder, the applicator, and a pot. Step number one is we're going to get some of the loom powder, and we're going to put it into we're going to put it into a mixing pot. The aim being to try and get a try and get a paste. We want to try and get a paste finish. But we get some powder in a pot, which uh, this isn't too great for you guys, is it? Trying to show you what I'm doing, but we can't see the powder in the white pot. So just for you, I can see it with my eyes, but just for you, I will put it into this gray, into this little small gray one. At least now we can see. I do apologize for my fingernails as well. I think I just checked if my plants had enough water and I think I've got soil under my nails. That won't happen again. Once the powder's in the in the in the pot, we can now get some of this binder. It's like a really thick fluid, which is supposed to bind, mix with the powder, and act as a binding agent. But it just seems really thick, you know. And I am struggling to get it off of the, off of this little oiler, into the pot. So I did wonder why they gave thinner in the kit. And now I think I know why. So this isn't going to work. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some of this thinner, which is a, it's a lot more runny. And I'm just going to put a little drop on, the, on here just to see what happens. Because we want to get a paste like we see now. But again, this one's now looking maybe a bit too runny and a bit too grainy. So, a bit of trial and error. Back to the binding agent. Let's try and thicken this up a bit. Hopefully the, the thinner has made it a bit easier to work with. And now we've gone the other way. Now it looks a bit too thick and it just looks a bit lumpy. So, back to the thinner. Now let's see what we get here. So we give it another quick mix and you see like this shiny looking paste. This is what we're kind of looking for. That's now we can work with that. So I'll get the hands out and let's give it a go. Let's see how it goes anyway. So I'm going to start from the base of the hand and I'm just going to lightly drag this paste, loom paste up to the to the tip and we just want a thin film if the loom mixture is too thick then it will just clump up and it will not be able to spread but if it's too thin and too runny then it just it wouldn't span and bind between the between the hands but what we had there looked okay after we apply the loom you have to let it set you cannot continue so I've let this set overnight and we'll just give it a quick check um, charge it with some light and these look at these now the color is really nice actually I'm quite happy with that um, not bad going so I'm going to speed this up I'm going to put the hands back on the watch and do the initial checks but not so bad not so painful the biggest thing you need to watch out for is just getting that right texture of the of the loom paste that you make to be able to get them onto the hands the next thing to pay attention to is the mixing. So you need to make sure you mix the powder in sufficiently, but just mix enough to make sure you've got a nice smooth paste. But then once they're in the watch, let's have a look how the watch looks if we turn the lights off and how this loom is looking now. Check that out. That was a 10 to 15 minute job and we have made them hands look hundred times better than they were now they're not damaged looking and the loom color that we got was very close to what the original one was so for anyone looking to reloom hands $15 kit you can do it yourself and I know this kit is a cheap kit so I'm sure that the quality of this loom is probably not as good as if you was to spend a bit more money on a, a better branded name but for $15 I'm over the moon this watch is now looking even better than what it did before and a lot better than when we started in the previous video so thanks for coming along. Thanks for giving this a watch. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. 
subscribe if you like the videos I make. Thanks again for coming along and take care.